I'm doing a uh, much larger and more concentrated version of the one that I showed you in the previous video. Now, mostly because I want to play around with my graphene ink some more and um, use a higher concentration of graphene in it to see what happens to conductivity. Uh, and in here, what I've got is 10 milligram uh, per milliliter solution of 35% hydrochloric acid. Now, what I forgot to warn you about is initially the reaction is very slow because the hydrochloric acid has to eat through the aluminium oxide that covers the foil. But once it's done that, the reaction really gets into its stride and, and it gets hot, actually pretty hot. Uh, you should be able to see the steam coming off. So it gets really hot and there's an awful lot of frothing. So this is actually frothed up to about here from the liquid level here. So you need to um, really pay due care and attention with this reaction, particularly if you're doing more concentrated versions like this. Because um, one thing you don't want to do is have hot acid froth up everywhere, because um, that's just not a lot of fun. Now, 10% won't really damage you as long as you get to the water supply very quickly and wash everything off, then it won't really do an awful lot of damage. The 35% it will do some damage if you're not careful with it. So what I tend to do is add the aluminium in small amounts, uh, cut it bit and cut it up in little nuggets like this, and I chuck a few nuggets in, swirl it around a bit and leave it to go. And as you can see, it's turning a nice deep black, which is the graphene that we want. Um, but I didn't mention the, the um, vigorousness of this reaction in the previous video, for which I apologise. Um, but really, it does get pretty vigorous. Uh, I tend to do it outside. I tend to do it in a conical flask. Uh, I do wear gloves normally. This one's actually just about finished, so it's dying down. It's not too bad. Now, it is pretty hot, it's, it's hard to hold it there, easy to hold it there. Um, but if you're doing it in a beaker, don't overfill your beaker, give it lots of expansion room, because it will expand as it froths. It does help it a little bit to stir it, I just swirl it, to be honest. Um, and don't add in too much aluminium in one go, or you, you're likely to be sorry. But as you can see, that's nice, going nice deep black colour, which is our graphene that we want. So again, sorry for not warning you in the previous video, and uh, hope you're enjoying yourselves. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.